good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to South Seminole Middle School here in Castleberry, Florida, for the second of tonight's doubleheader. It's the South Seminole Hurricanes against the Millwee Spartans. Steve Corny along with you tonight and with me this evening making his color debut is Bobby Adamowitz, who knew civics teacher, scholar, gentleman, and basketball combinator. On the pictures tonight, making the, our words have context, is Art Miles, head of the South Seminole News Department. Remember, check out their Facebook page, the South Seminole News, as well as their U Yahoo, your what, YouTube channel. I got that all confused up. Hurricanes wearing their rose whites going left to right across your computer screens. Mikey Napolitano with a basketball inside, and he travels. Taking a look at the starting lineup for the Hurricanes, it'll be Amaris Shaw, Mike Napolitano, Khalil Washington. Looks like Jake Monnet and Max Hess. Spartans with a the basketball. They will work at Lear's side. Long three ball. Broken down there on the zone. Amar Shaw had a rush to try to block that shot. Just missed it by a fingertip, and that goes in for three. Gage Keelman with the three to give the Spartans the early lead. Khalil Washington for Napolitano. Washington for Max Hess. Max Hess with the ball around the arc, dribbles it off his leg and out of bounds. And I'll turn the ball over to the Spartans once again. On court for the Spartans. It is Chris Erskine, Gage Keelman, Caleb Fitzgerald, Zach Mattingly, and Will Parnell, who we have been told has been given the nickname of Darnell. So Darnell Parnell. Makes sense. Makes it does. <laughs> Washington with a basketball. Joe Mar Gonzalez then with it. Washington for Max Hess. Hess dribbles into the near side corner, pulls up for three. Shot is no good, nothing but air. And the rebound taken by Chris Erskine for the Spartans. Erskine for Caleb Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald into the front court. He sends a pass intended for Gage Keelman, but it's off his hands. The Hurricanes coached by Lance Alt Sr. Millway, Millway I should say. Their head coach, Grant Nailing, and the associate head coach, Jason Dumont. Khalil Washington brings up for, for Jacks the three ball. Bang! Knock it down. And we're tied at three. 5-10 to go here in the first quarter. Millie with the basketball. Long pass ahead for Parnell. Parnell trying to find inside for Zach Mattingly. Mattingly can't control. And Amaris with the rebound. Amaris ahead for Jomar Gonzalez with the running lay-in. Gonzalez from Amaris Shaw. And that's a nice lead. Basket in the lead for the Hurricanes. Quickly, pressure by South Seminole. Milwee breaks it. Darnell Parnell, low on the baseline. Shot, nothing but air. Rebound taken by Mattingly. Mattingly, the pass back for... That is Caleb Fitzgerald. And Fitzgerald lays it up and in. End-to-end -end basketball here. 5-5 five, five your score. 4.30 to go here in the first quarter. Max Hess takes the pass from Williams. Williams. For Hess for Shaw. Shaw tries to go down low, knocks it for Gonzalez. Check it, oh, Joe Mar Gonzalez. Gonzalez's pass, backcourt violation, and that'll turn the ball over to the Milwee Spartans. <laughs> Substitutes checking in, that is Uchenna Kelman. He'll come in, Gage Kielman will sit down. Yes, that's right, Kelman for Kielman. Uchenna Kelman with it. Kelman, far side for Erskine. Erskine tries to drive the baseline against Amaris Shaw. His shot up won't fall, but he gets his own rebound. And Chris Erskine, with the second and third effort putback, gets the basket and one, and he'll go to the line. Kane's varsity team has to take a page from the, from the JV team here. One of the biggest downfalls from last game was that offensive board area, just the boards in general. It's going to be a really vital part of this game to make sure that they are getting the boards and making sure that in transition they're looking up and making those passes. Chris Erskine drains the and one and Milwee with their second three-point lead of the ball game. Khalil Washington picks up his dribble now far side. Maximus Hess three-pointer won't fall. Rebound inside Amar Shaw with a nice putback and the deuce. And back within a point are the Hurricanes. Caleb Fitzgerald. And Erskine walking up court. Fitzgerald cross court check it. Erskine cross court pass for Kelman. Kelman finds Zach Mattingly. Mattingly ditches off for Darnell Parnell. Parnell the shot. Parnell is fouled. 
And he'll go to the line to shoot two. Head coach Lance Alt urging his teams to get their hands up on defense. And this will put Parnell at the line, two shots. 3.42 to go first quarter. The first shot from Parnell is short. And a substitute checking in for the Hurricanes. That'll be Jake Monick. Parnell, second free throw upcoming. Bounces thrice, the roll will not fall. Rebound tapped and controlled by Monet. Here come the Hurricanes on the break. Monet ahead for Joe Mar Gonzalez, slicing the hole. Can't get it to foul. Mike Napolitano can't come down with a rebound. Timeout will be taken by Lance Alt on behalf of the Hurricanes. 3.35 to go, first quarter. Milwee 8, South Seminole 7, back after this. This is Hurricanes basketball. Welcome back, 3.35 to go, first quarter. Aaron passed by Milwee, given back by Marshaw on that backcourt violation to Mikey Napolitano. So 3.30 go, Milwee with the basketball, they'll inbound it, ball worked near side for the Spartans, back to the far side. Erskine with it. Erskine for Parnell down low. Parnell draws a double team. Nice pass to Erskine trying to cut through. But he has it stolen away by Kill Will Washington. Washington loses it in his feet. Uchenna Kelman with it. Kelman feeds Zach Mattingly on the baseline. Mattingly on the floor catches the body. And there'll be a foul whistled against the Hurricanes. Third team foul against South Seminole. Caleb Fitzgerald inbounds it. Nice inbounds pass for Erskine, who ditches it for Parnell. Parnell can't get the shot to foul. Again, Milwee the rebound, and they'll work it back outside to set it up. Chris Erskine for Zach Mattingly. Mattingly near side, wide open three. Uchenna Kielman, he can't find the ring. And it'll be Monnet with a rebound. Monnet for Khalil Washington. Washington working out the high screen for Mara Shaw. Now to Mike Napolitano. Back for Khalil Washington. Zips it near side. Joe Mar Gonzalez. Gonzalez for Monet. Back to Gonzalez. Gonzalez for three. Will not fall. Monet the rebound. That won't fall. Ball bounces around inside and it'll wind up going off the arm of Darnell Parnell. And the Hurricanes get it back. Shaw the inbound for Monet. Monet back up top. Khalil Washington for three. Bang! Oh, Knock yes. it down. First lead of the ball game for the Hurricanes as Khalil Washington finds the range from beyond the arc. Nice defensive play by Mike Napolitano, and the Hurricanes will get it back. Amaris Shaw to inbound it. Shaw for Washington, back to Shaw, trying to find Gonzalez in the corner. Lose it for Chris Erskine. Erskine on his way to the hoop. Nice, Silky lays it up and in, and we're tied at 10. Khalil Washington will bring it up court for the Hurricanes. Washington head for Monnet. Monnet, nice pass down low, intended for Gomar Gonzalez. Stolen away, long pass ahead for Caleb Fitzgerald. And good defensive hustle by Amara Shaw to get down court and break that up. And also knock the ball off Fitzgerald and out of bounds. Yeah, that was a great defensive effort by Amara Shaw. Under two minutes to go, 10-10, your score here in the first quarter. Hurricanes and... Milwee kick ball by Uchenna Kelman. And the ball comes back to the Hurricane. Inbounds for Amara Shaw. For Kilo Washington. Washington back for Shaw. Shaw trying to find Napolitano down low. That ball rattles and falls away. Erskine with it. Erskine trying to drive the lane. Nice dish off of the last moment for Parnell. Parnell misses it. Mattingly with the put back. That won't fall. Back outside, Caleb Fitzgerald, and they'll slow it down once again. Fitzgerald on the wing. Back inside for Parnell. Now, Mattingly. And Mattingly with a traveling violation. And substitutes checking in. It'll be Alberto Rivera making his home debut this season for South Seminole. Rivera with the high socks look. Wearing number 53. Up court come the Hurricanes. Khalil Washington regains it, draws the double team, dribbles out of traffic, bounce pass inside, looking for Rivera, but he's a step slow and a dollar short. And it's another turnover for the Hurricanes. 
And this will bring in Malachi Goodson. So Goodson in, Khalil Washington sits down. Coming up on a minute remaining here in the first quarter. 10 to 10 your score, South Seminole and Milwee. Mattingly sends it near side for Uchenna Kelman. Kelman far side for Chris Erskine. Erskine finds the lane, tries to dish it off at the last moment for Parnell. And the pass goes hard into the floor and out of bounds. And it'll be Hurricane basketball. Goodson brings it up court. Goodson passes to Monette. Jake Monette draws a double team and it's knocked out of bounds, but the Hurricanes will get the basketball back with 45 seconds remaining. Inbounds pass for Joe Mar Gonzalez. Gonzalez high pass stolen away by Erskine. And Erskine drives to the hoop again, lays it up and in. Second breakaway layup for Chris Erskine. And that'll give Milwee back the lead at 12 to 10 as we come up on 30 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. And a foul on Caleb Fitzgerald as it looked like Goodson tried to drive by him. So Shaw, Goodson, Rivera, Monette, and Joe Mar Gonzalez on court for the Hurricanes. Shaw, the inbound for Monette, into the paint for check it, Rivera. Rivera's pass to Shaw, bounces away, and Milwee controls the 20 seconds to go. We'll see if the Spartans will play for the last shot. Chris Erskine with them on the far side, and Erskine travels with a basketball. One thing you can give for the Canes right now, the varsity team's doing a great job on the defensive end, swarming to the ball, getting a good trap on the ball, and that's leading to offensive opportunities here. Amara Shaw inbounds it for Malachi Goodson, who'll walk it up court. Into the corner, Joe Mar Gonzalez. Back up far arc for Goodson. Goodson dribbles off the screen, tries to find the runner in the lane, rattles and drops. And we're tied at 12, under 10 seconds to go. Milwee might have a shot for the last side. Caleb Fitzgerald into the front court for Chris Erskine, and Milwee cannot get the shot off. And we've got seven minutes in the books. Your score at the end of one. Hurricanes 12, Spartans 12. Back after this, this is Hurricanes basketball. Welcome back to South Seminole Middle School. We go to the second quarter. 12-12 is your score. Steve Corning with Bobby Adamowitz on the color. Art Miles making the magic happen with the video. Back and forth first quarter. Ooh. Amar Shaw with that big boy swat along with Mikey Napolitano. That ball was going nowhere. Big boy swat. I like that phrase. Caleb Fitzgerald to inbound it. It'll be Caleb Fitzgerald, Isaiah Johnson, Jordan Butler, Uchenna Kelman on court for Milwee. Malachi Goodson quickly up court for the Hurricanes. Goodson out top for Amara Shaw. Amara Shaw can't get the shooter's roll, and Chris Erskine controls the rebound. Erskine ahead for Caleb Fitzgerald, who run the point for the Spartans. Fitzgerald for Gonzalez. Gonzalez tries to die the lane. Late dish for Erskine, cutting the baseline. He'll dump it in. And it's a four-point lead, taking a two-point lead now for the Spartans. Backcourt pressure being applied by Milwee. Amara Shaw breaks the press for Malachi Goodson. Goodson ahead for Mikey Napolitano. Napolitano fouled on his way to the hoop. And he'll be at the line to shoot two. That's some great vision by the Canes there. Full court pressure, looking down the court, getting the ball down in time, and then looking at Mikey Napolitano to finish it off here. That's the one thing. If you get on full court pressure, if you double team somebody, that means somebody somewhere has to be unguarded. And that person was Mikey Napolitano. 6.05 to go here in the first half. Hurricanes trail by two. Team foul situation all even at three apiece. Napolitano misses his first free throw. Second one upcoming, bounces twice, rattles back and forth, will not drop, and Chris Erskine with a rebound. Quickly up court come the Spartans. Erskine ahead for Uchenna Kelman. His shot up no good. Rebound Amaris Shaw. Shaw's and knocks out of his hands by Isaiah Gonzalez out of bounds. No harm, no foul. And the Hurricanes will control the basketball. Long pass ahead intended for Mikey Napolitano. Knocked away by Chris Erskine. That's the thing. Milwee giving the Hurricanes that long inbounds pass but the Hurricanes can't get enough mustard on it to get it ahead. Nice pass to Morris Shaw for Mikey Napolitano. Napolitano will drive the baseline, and he gets smacked again. Looks like, again, a, Napolitano might have taken a hand to the face area, but he'll be at the line to shoot the second of two, the two free throws. Last time missed them both. This time, Rattle gets the shooter's bounce. 
And again, I think the rim might have found out about our GoFundMe page to replace it, and it feels threatened, so it let one come in. Uh. Rim still hates us. Rim still hates us. Misses the second one. Amara Shaw, a nice offensive rebound, but he can't get the putback. And the Hurricanes, though, back within one at 14 to 13. 540 to go here in the first half. Milwee the basketball. Long three on the far side, taken by Milwee's Aaron Mejia. Take it, Aaron Mejia. That did not fall. And the ball out of bounds to South Seminoles. Substitutes checking in. It'll be Curtis Argroves in for Milwee, replacing Caleb Fitzgerald and Joe Mar Gonzalez. He will replace Max Hess. Amara shot inbound, bounce pass for Malachi Goodson. Goodson breaks the press, then loses the dribble to Isaiah Gonzalez. Here come the Spartans the other way. Gonzalez dish out for Arian Mejia. Now ball swung cross court to Jordan Butler. Butler, the shot from the lane, won't fall. Mikey Napolitano pulls down the rebound. Spins it away, and Jordan Butler will be guilty of the reach-in foul. Khalil Washington set to check in. Washington in, Malachi Goodson out. Man, Mikey Napolitano has been a magnet for fouls the past minute and a half here. Amara shot inbound for Khalil Washington. Washington late dish for Jomar Gonzalez. Gonzalez will drive the lane. Nice running one-hander. And the Hurricanes back atop the scoreboard, 15 to 14, as we go under the five-minute mark remaining here in the first half. Argroves with the ball. He'll dish it for Kelman. Kelman's shot no good. Mikey Napolitano the rebound. Napolitano has it knocked out of his hands, and Amara Shaw controls it. Here comes the Hurricanes back up court. Shot for the baseline. Joe! Mark Gonzalez for three, bang, knock it down. And it's a four-point Hurricane lead. Here come the Hurricane pressure, and they force a turnover as Isaiah Gonzalez airmoils it over Curtis Argroves. And back come the starters for head coach Chris Nailing. And I do believe we'll have a timeout. Hurricanes on a run, 4.33 to go here in the second. Your score, South Seminole 18, Milwee 14. We'll take a break and be back right after this. You're listening to Hurricanes Basketball. 4.33 to go here in the first half. Hurricanes on top, 18 to 14 on cart for South Seminole. It'll be Shaw, Washington, Napolitano, Joe Mar Gonzalez, and Jake Monnet. Milwee steals the ball away. Isaiah Gonzalez with the basketball. Gonzalez slicing to the lane. Running one-hander, scoops it up and in. Nice one there by Isaiah Gonzalez. It'll be Amara Shaw to inbound for South Seminole. Khalil Washington brings it into the front court. Washington draws a double team. And he is fouled by Zach Mattingly. And that is team foul number six. On the Spartans. Amara shot it inbounds. His pass in, knocked away by Mattingly. And the inbound pass will come a little closer to the basket. Shot for Mike Napolitano. Back for Amara Shaw. Now for Khalil Washington. Joe Mar Gonzalez, that's his spot in the corner. Doesn't get a good look. Back up top for Khalil Washington. Washington tries to drive the lane. Late kick out for Jake Monnet. Ball off a toe, awaits for Amara Shaw. Back to Joe Mar Gonzalez. That's his spot, can't find it. It's off the front of the iron, and Parnell with a rebound. Parnell almost has it stolen away by Khalil Washington, but Isaiah Gonzalez into the front court. Gonzalez for Mejia. Mejia, long three. Back iron won't fall. Rebound inside Mattingly. Nice putback for the Spartans. And we're tied back up at 18 as Khalil Washington brings it up court for the Canes. Washington for Monnet. Monnet draws the high defense. Now the double team. He's got two on him. He's trapped. Gets it ahead for Check it. Loses it to Parnell. Parnell for Gonzalez. Gonzalez slices in. Parnell the rebound inside. His putback is up and good. And you know at this point, Lance Ald has to be thinking a blockout, a blockout, my kingdom for a blockout. Jake Monette with the ball inside for Mikey Napolitano. Napolitano puts the ball on the floor and can't get the shot off as Curtis Argroves now with it. Under three to go. Hurricanes down by two. And Argroves loses it out of bounds. This is where things started to go wrong in the first half for the Hurricanes in the JV game when they opened up a 10-point lead and they let Milway get back into it. The Hurricanes led at one point by six and Milway has cut it to four. Yeah, definitely that feeling of complacency of we're up, let's 
Let's stay there, but there's no sense of urgency. Now, now Coach Alt's definitely having that sense of urgency with the boys right now. So Khalil watching on the back for Malachi Goodson. Goodson's three ball, that's not gonna help as it misses everything and goes out of bounds. And now Milwee will get the ball back with a chance to tie it up with 2.40 to go here in the first half. Dietrich Green making his debut for the Hurricanes. He'll replace Jake Monnet. Spartans with the basketball, Isaiah Gonzalez with it. Gonzalez far side for Chris Erskine. Erskine back for Isaiah Gonzalez. And the first time we call Dietrich Green, it is for fouling Isaiah Gonzalez. That's his first personal, fourth team foul. You can definitely say this game has been very physical. No love loss for these two rivals here. Milwee with the basketball, Gage Kielman bounces it for Mattingly. Mattingly, nice swing baseline for Erskine. Erskine misses the first one, gets his rebound, put back, won't fall. Mattingly the rebound, the roll, the drop, and the and one. He'll go to the line as he's fouled by Mike Napolitano. Those offensive rebounds have been the kryptonite of the cane so far today. I don't know, perhaps we mean, need to move this game to a planet with the red sun. <laughs> Zach Madeling at the line, trying to convert the back end of a three-point play. Shot is up, will not fall. Mikey Napolitano with the rebound, and the Hurricanes control. 22-18, Milwee has erased a hurricane lead, and that's now a four-point lead. Quick left court, Malachi Goodson, wild shot, won't go. And the Spartans with the rebound. Isaiah Gonzalez with it. Gonzalez for Mattingly in the lane. <laughs> Mattingly. Does the Harlem shuffle there and gets called for traveling. So shot inbound for Malachi Goodson. Goodson with the basketball. Now for Mars Shaw. Shaw near side for Dieter Green. Green puts a shot up, misses everything. Rebound taken by Carl Erskine. And Green with his second personal foul. Green coming in for two minutes, being the enforcer on the team. Green coming from the Bob Probert School of Basketball. Unfortunately, Probert played hockey. <laughs> Mill with the basketball near side. That is Gage Kielman, long three, won't fall. Zach Mattingly, offensive rebound. Mattingly, the putback and the basket. And it's now a six point Millwe lead, 120 to go. And this is starting to get out of hand. Millwe, a 12 point run. Ball near side, Dietrich Green. Green again hoists the three. Well, he hit the rim this time. Joe Mar Gonzalez with the rebound. Back outside, Malachi Goodson. Goodson shot from the lane and drops. That stops the run. Nice and sweet floater in there. Nice floater by Goodson. Isaiah Gonzalez brings it up court. Gonzalez for Erskine. Erskine inside for Darnell Parnell. Parnell shot up, blocked by Amara Shaw. Long pass ahead, Joe Mar Gonzalez. Gonzalez will take it to the rack. That won't fall. Rebound, Erskine. Back the other way come the Spartans. Erskine to head for Parnell. Parnell lose it. Nice spin move. Can't get the shot to fall. Erskine there with the rebound. That won't fall. Erskine on the offensive rebound, and it's out of bounds off of Dietrich Green. And it'll be Spartans basketball on the baseline. Inbounds pass from Mattingly for Gage Kielman. Kielman trying to go into the paint, knocked away by Amara Shaw. Here come the Hurricanes, three on one. Malachi Goodson with the running layup attempt. He misses everything in the three on one, hits the backboard, nothing more. Back the other way come the Spartans in transition. Ball on the floor, tie up. Mikey Napolitano battling with Zach Mattingly. And on the possession arrow, the ball will go to the Hurricanes with 21 seconds remaining. You gotta figure if you're coach all here, you gotta go for any points that you can. Go into the half point, half time with at least something on the board. Get to the, get it close here. Timeout taken by Coach Alt. 14.7 seconds to go here in the first half. We'll take a break. Be back with the rest of the first half. 24-10. Spartans lead the Hurricanes back after this. This is Hurricanes basketball. Hurricanes playing, hopefully playing for the last shot here. Malachi Goodson with the basketball, has it stolen away by Isaiah Gonzalez. Gonzalez up court work against Amara Shaw. Backhand pass into the lane for Erskine. Chris Erskine lays it up and in. Hurricanes, one last long baseball throw, that'll miss everything. And again, 
The Hurricanes at one point led it by six, but a 14 to two run by Milwee to close the half sends us to the break. It's Milwee 26, Hurricanes 20. We'll be back with the second half right after this. You're watching Hurricanes basketball. Welcome back to South Seminole Middle School. Second half of tonight's varsity ball game between the South Seminole Hurricanes and the Milwee Spartans. Steve Courtney along with Bobby Adamowitz, Art Miles on the videography tonight. And it was not the greatest of first halves for South Seminole as they trail it 26 to 20. Amara Shaw with the steal quickly up court. He'll take it to the hoop, cannot get it to fall. And the rebound controlled by the Hurricanes. Check it, Spartans, Darnell Parnell with it, ahead for Erskine. Erskine slicing the lane. That's what you want to have happen when you take it to the hole. And it's now an eight point Spartan lead. Malachi Goodson with the ball, Goodson. For Sean, near side, Joe Mar Gonzalez. Gonzalez, three ball, drains it down. And that stops the bleeding and ends a 14, I believe a 16 point. 16 to two run by the Spartans. Spartans into the front court. That'll be Lieutenant Kelman with it. Kelman for Parnell. Parnell swings it through the lane to Caleb Gonzalez. Gonzalez, check it, Caleb Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald, the shot, that one fall back to Fitzgerald. Baseline, Chris Erskine. Erskine swings it out near side for Uchenna Kelman. Kelman, three ball off the glass, won't fall. Rebound taken down low by Amaris Shaw. Shaw for Goodson. Bounce pass ahead for Jomar Gonzalez. And Gonzalez is in the lane, has it dribble off the foot of a Milwee player and out of bounds. Great vision by Goodson looking across court down there to get the ball to Gonzalez. 5.41 to go here, third quarter. Canes trail by five. Goodson takes the inbounds pass for Jomar Gonzalez. Gonzalez, long three-point attempt, won't find anything but air. But nice hustle by Shaw to get the rebound and tap it to Mikey Napolitano. Shaw reaching with those big long arms to get that ball six feet deep out of bounds to get the ball back to the Canes. Inbounds pass stolen away. Long pass ahead for Gage Kelman. Check it, Gage Kielman. He'll lay it up off a glass and in. And the Spartans back up by seven. Malachi Goodson with it. Goodson, far side baseline for Shaw. Shaw, long air ball, three attempt. Rebound taken by Kelman. Kelman for Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald finds a lane to the hook, puts it up and off the iron and falls away. He could have driven to Tampa on that drive. Nobody in front of him. He just rolled right through like he was on the new toll lanes on they're putting it on I-4. The express lanes, by the way. Yeah, Marshaw got caught back on the offensive side trying to steal the pass, and that led to that open lane. Caleb Fitzgerald has the shot off the iron. Fall away on this first free throw attempt. The I-4 ultimate toll lanes, which we understand will be finished sometime in the year 2346. Second shot by Caleb Fitzgerald up and in. Back to an eight point lead for the Spartans. And Khalil Washington back on court. Washington ahead for Jomar Gonzalez. Gonzalez trying to dribble out of the pressure. Gonzalez looks to swing it back into the middle. Ball knocked away. Alberto Rivera will chase it down in the back court. Rivera's pass underhand intended for Khalil Washington. Washington wasn't expecting it, had to go through his hands. And Erskine will control. Nice pass inside Erskine for Uchenna Kelman. That won't fall. Darnell Parnell there with a rebound and the putback. He's hacked and he'll go to the line to shoot two. You know, I think, Bobby, it's a good thing that we don't have rebounding stats on this because we are just getting dominated. Second, third, fourth chance points. And that has been the, the huge difference here in, in the first two games, in this in the JV game as well as the varsity game. You take away those second, third, fourth opportunities, this is a completely different ball game. Parnell hits the first one, gets the iron and the shooter's roll in the second. And Milwee now with their biggest lead of the ball game as it's 33-23 with 4.30 to go here in the third quarter. Khalil Washington draws the high double team. Managed to get the bounce pass for Mikey Napolitano. Napolitano, strong move to the hoop. And he dump trucks the Milwee defender. And that looks like trying to see who that is down on the floor. Isaiah Gonzalez took a hard collision from Mikey Napolitano. And not seeing what hit the floor 
Looks like he might have gone face first down into the floor. Yeah, Mikey went up strong. The Milby defender also went up strong straight for the ball. Tried to wrap up with it and came straight down. And that's one of those things where you have contact. And Mikey Napolitano, I think he's taller than me, but not as tall as you. It's a close, close. Past couple months, he's shot up there. So Napolitano will shoot two. And his first three will throw off the iron and bounces away. So Napolitano missing a chance to cut into the Spartan lead. Second free throw of two upcoming. And he misses them both. And Caleb Fitzgerald with the offensive rebound. Fitzgerald, check a defensive rebound. Fitzgerald, long pass, zip ahead for Darnell Parnell. His shot in and out won't fall. Alberto Rivera tips the rebound to Jake Monnet. And Monette into the front court. Now Khalil Washington. Washington bounce pass near side. Joe Mar Gonzalez. Gonzalez trying to find the range from three. Rebound taken by Erskine. Chris Erskine up court for Milwee. He'll try and go coast to coast and has it knocked away at the second. It looked like either Joe Mar Gonzalez or Alberto Rivera got their hand in there to knock it out of bounds. Yeah, not a single white jersey until one foot before the net. So Got to get some white jerseys in front of him. Aramis Shaw and Jason Villanueva checking in for the Hurricanes. Mikey Napolitano and Alberto Rivera will check out. So it'll be Shaw, Washington, Villanueva, Gonzalez, and Monet on court for the South Seminole Hurricanes. Khalil Washington between the rings. Tries to bounce inside for Shaw. Shaw for Gonzalez. Gonzalez has that three ball look. Nails it! 4-3 for Jomar Gonzalez. Putting him in double digits. And the Milwee lead down to seven. Now Erskine with the ball. Erskine trying to find that lane. Late dish to the near side for Kelman. Kelman's shot won't fall, but Erskine there with the rebound. Back to Kelman, slicing in for the rebound. And he'll lay it up off the glass and in. Milwee back up top by nine as we go into the 3.30 mark here in the third quarter. Khalil Washington with the ball. Washington goes behind the back. Now into the lane. Washington, the runner, gets it to fall. Nice behind the back. Khalil Washington and the runner as the Hurricanes not letting Milwee stretch it out. Caleb Fitzgerald for, Pel for Parnell. Parnell for Erskine. Back outside. Eugenia Kelman with the three. And Milwee will take a timeout as the lead is back to 10. 3.01 to go here in the third. It is the Spartans 38, Hurricanes 28. Back after this, South Seminole basketball. So welcome back to South Seminole. 3.01 to go here in the third quarter. Hurricanes on the short end of a 38-28 score. Khalil Washington with a basketball. Washington picks up his dribble, finds Shaw. Shaw for Monette. Monette has it stolen away by Erskine. Erskine drives to the hoop, can't miss it, but right there for the rebound on the follow-up is Caleb Fitzgerald. And you have to again commend Milwee right being there for the offensive rebound. Here's Khalil Washington. Washington. Goes by Fitzgerald, high between the rings. Washington for Shaw. Shaw over a short defender, has the ball bounced for Jason Villanueva. And Villanueva Johnny on the spot. And it appears we are seated right above the Villanueva family, and they're quite happy that Jason picks up his first points of the night. Up court come the Hurricanes. Good defense by South Seminole. Jomar Gonzalez with it. Gonzalez for Khalil Washington. Washington with the ball outside. He'll find Shaw. Shaw, long shot, off the iron, won't go. Villanueva can't control the rebound, and it's Chris Erskine with it. Erskine, long pass ahead and 10 for Chenna Kelman, swatted away by the Hurricanes, but they can't control. Man, this back and forth game is definitely favoring Milby right now, especially with the time on the clock. We're in the third quarter, but it's still a 10, 10 point deficit here for the Canes. So Lance Alt Senior will take a timeout. Fourth, check it, 153 to go here in the third quarter. Milwee 40, South Seminole 30 back after this on Hurricanes basketball. Say hello. No. Oh, okay. Well, apparently no music, so we're gonna come back, not take a timeout. Those of you wondering what we look like, I'm Steve Cornia, math teacher and play-by-play -play man. The man seated to my right is Bobby Adamowitz, color man. The guy you can't see on the picture is Art Miles, the videographer. That thumb up tells me that he got that. Those of you who really didn't want to see that, 
you can rewind your computer a few seconds and try and unforget that horrible memory of looking at your broadcast team. Or fast forward and just try to forget it. Or fast forward Sleepless and try to forget. Try and forget it. There we go. Milby with the basketball. Spartans will bring it in. Some substitutions which he caught up on in just a moment. That'll be Zach Mattingly. Mattingly trying to go inside for Isaiah Gonzalez. Gonzalez fouled in the paint. Good to see him back. If you remember a few minutes ago, Gonzalez took that hard foul trying to stop Mikey Napolitano driving to the lane, driving to the hoop. And one of going face first onto the floor. He's had some great ball movement here, which is drawing the defense, which allows them to just toss the ball into the open guy with this double team that uh, Canes are putting it in. Eugenia Kelman for Caleb Fitzgerald. Back to Kelman slicing the lane. He gets the easy layup. And Millie's lead is at 12. That's their biggest of the ball game. Khalil Washington will bring it up. Frederick Woodard has just checked in for the Hurricanes. Now back up top for Shaw. Aramis Shaw with the basketball. Good pressure by Caleb Fitzgerald. Now Khalil Washington. Washington for Woodard. Woodard draws defense from Kelman. Swings it far side for Joe Mar Gonzalez, who tries to go baseline against Erskine. Can't find a quick out pass. Great pass from Erskine ahead for Kelman. Kelman can't get the roll. Gets his own rebound and puts it up and in. And the lead is 14. Under a minute remaining. Khalil Washington with the basketball. He draws the defense from Caleb Fitzgerald. Washington for Woodard on the far side. Now passed it by near side for Shaw. Kelman going for the steal, but Armas Shaw throws it out of bounds intended for Jomar Gonzalez. And this will bring Mikey Napolitano in for Jason Villanueva. And you look at the Hurricanes right now, and if you watch their body language, you can tell the frustration starting to develop. And Amar Shaw, new to the team as well. That's just that miscommunication of not being in practice, not being on, team, on the team as long as the others have. So Nate Gatchel will check in. He'll replace Aramis Shaw. So it'll be Gonzalez, Washington, Woodard, Napolitano, and Gatchel for the Hurricanes. Caleb Fitzgerald ahead for Chris Erskine. Erskine back outside for Caleb Fitzgerald. The 18-footer rattles, won't fall. Somehow Erskine in the middle of four defenders gets the offensive rebound. Now he'll ditch it for Kelman. Kelman for Fitzgerald. Swings it far side. In and out, won't go. Maddenly with the rebound. And it's now a 16-point lead. And you just can't have that happen. Four white shirts around one green shirt, and the green shirt ends up with the, with the rebound. 15 seconds to go. Hurricanes will try and end this quarter on a positive note. Fred Word with the basketball draws a double team. He'll have his pass stolen away by Chris Erskine. Erskine, three seconds, two seconds, and it's stolen away. Fred Woodard takes it in, and no baskets. Woodard in the air, tried to lay it in, wasted half, took half a second too long. The basket will not count, and that'll do it for three quarters. Seven minutes to go. What was close is now starting to get out of hand. Your score at the end of three. Milwee 46, South Seminole 30, back with the final stanza. After this, you're listening to Hurricanes Basketball. We don't box up. Thanks to the RTC for turning off the music there. We go to the fourth quarter. Nate Gatchel with a wild shot. Won't fall. Rebound taken by Milwee. And up they come. Isaiah Gonzalez with the basketball. Isaiah Gonzalez, late dish off for Parnell. Parnell for Erskine. Erskine tries to slice the lane. Dish for Gonzalez. Gonzalez a shot. That won't fall. Parnell has the rebound knocked out of his hands by Nate Gatchel. And it'll be Milwee ball on the baseline. For the Spartans, it'll be Caleb Fitzgerald, Darnell Parnell, Chris Erskine. Fitz too easy, too Inbound easy from the slice right for in. Chris Erskine, and it's now an 18 point Milwee lead. Malachi Goodson bring it up court for the Hurricanes. Jackie Chen now on court. Goodson's pass stolen away by Chris Erskine. Here comes a three on one. Caleb Fitzgerald just shot up. That won't fall. Uncontested rebound by Parnell. That won't fall. He gets his own offensive rebound. Kicks out for Caleb Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald a 12 footer. And it's now a 20 point Milwee lead. Man, when it rains, it pours, and it's a hurricane right now here at South Seminole. Unfortunately, we're not the ones who are pouring. Caleb Fitzgerald steals away the ball, knocked into the backcourt. 
and he fouls Malachi Goodson. 5.37 to go here in the ballgame. 50 to 30 is your score. On court now for the Hurricanes. We'll get the chance to call some names we don't normally do. Jackie Chen is on. Nate Gassel is on. Malachi Goodson is on. Lewis Cornelius is on. And it looks like Justin Ruiz. Malachi Goodson swings it far side for Ruiz. Ruiz. Now for Nate Gatchel. Gatchel trying to dribble inside. Bounce pass. That is Lewis Cornelius. Cornelius for Goodson. Goodson the wild shot up. No good. Jackie Chen with the rebound. And Chen has Isaiah Gonzalez land on him. So he'll draw the foul. Peter Reyes now in for Milwee. As it appears that Milwee head coach Grant Nailing may be going to his bench. Now Justin Rainey coming on. So Rainey and Ruiz. Well, Rainey is in, Ruiz is out. Nate Gatchel to inbound for the Hurricanes. High inbound pass intended for Malachi Goodson. And Goodson will be fouled by Isaiah Gonzalez as we go under five minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter. So Nate Gatchel to inbound it. Checking back in for Milwee is Zach Mattingly. Mattingly is in. Parnell is out. Parnell will get a nice hand and high five from his head coach, Chris Nailing. Gatchel, the inbounds pass for Cornelius. Lewis Cornelius, that three ball is going to be short. Defender might have gotten a piece of it as it drops right into the hands of Mattingly. Now Mattingly for Chris Erskine. Erskine ahead for Isaiah Gonzalez. Gonzalez dribbles out between the rings. He'll draw the defense from Cornelius. Gonzalez trying to slice to the lane. Late kick pass intended for Peter Reyes. Reyes can't control, and it goes off a defender out of bounds. So Zach Mattingly to inbound. Mattingly trying to find Chris Erskine, and does inside for Erskine. Erskine triple teams back outside Isaiah Gonzalez. And Gonzalez, nice ditch for Mattingly. Lays it up and off the glass, won't fall. Rebound pulled down, tied up. Mattingly and Chen, and on the jump ball. Check that, that is gonna be a foul on Jackie Chen as apparently he got a lot more of Zach Mattingly than the basketball. And the Spartans will inbound on the baseline. Mattingly in for Reyes. Reyes back to Mattingly. Mattingly back to Reyes in the paint. Taken away by Nate Gatchel. Here come the Hurricanes. Gatchel, Gatchel using his speed up the far side. Gatchel picks up the dribble. Bounce pass for Rainey. Back outside for Malachi Goodson. Goodson, long three, air ball. Rebound taken by Cornelius. Cornelius almost throws it over the backboard. The ball comes off the Milwee defender as it came down and out of bounds. Gatchel inbound for Malachi Goodson. Goodson picks up the dribble, tries to throw the pass out near midcourt. Backcourt violation, Hurricanes, and Milwee will get the basketball. Under four minutes to go. Subs for both teams are in now as it's a 20-point Milwee lead. Looks like Curtis Argroves is coming in, and Chris Erskine will take a well-deserved seat down at the end of the bench. Fine game for Erskine tonight for the Milwee Spartans. Isaiah Gonzalez with it. Gonzalez for Reyes. Reyes for Zach Mattingly. Mattingly back for Mejia. Mejia long three. Off the glass won't fall. Argroves has a chance at the rebound, but it's off his hands and out of bounds. James Adams will come in. Was talking with head coach Chris Nailing before the game. James Adams has a brother. Do you know what his name is? I'm going to go out on limb. John Adams. That is correct. Very underrated president. Very underrated president. I wonder if John At James Adams' middle name is Quincy. <laughs> Freddie Woodard with the basketball. Back up top for Rainey. Rainey for Max Hess. Hess started the game. Haven't seen him since the first quarter. Now Woodard with it for Chen. Chen trying to go baseline. Might have gotten away with an extra step there. Didn't matter. Couldn't hit the basket anyways. Zach Mattingly with the rebound. Mattingly for Curtis Argos and Argos long past his head intended for James Adams is out of bounds. Max Hess brings it back up. Hurricanes 12 by 20, 50 to 30, 315 to go. Hess pressured by Isaiah Gonzalez, and Gonzalez commits the foul. Fifth team foul on Milwee. For as solid and as sound as the first half was, this fourth quarter is starting to get a little out of hand. A lot of miscues, a lot of mistouches. Aaron passes, Aaron shots. 
Hess with the basketball. Stolen away Isaiah Gonzalez. Gonzalez, late dish. Nice one for James Adams. Adams on the assist from Isaiah Gonzalez. And it's now a 22 point Millwee lead. Under three minutes remaining, 52 to 30. Max Hess brings it up court. Hess for Justin Rainey. Rainey down low for Jackie Chen. Chen back for Rainey. Stolen away by Gonzalez. Here comes a three on two for Milwee. Gonzalez, late dish for Curtis Argos. Argos shot won't fall. Rebound pulled down by Jackie Chen. Chen for Max Hess. Hurricanes back up court. Hess trying to go. What the heck? <laughs> well, the best laid plans of Mike's men and Max Hess off go awry if that spin move doesn't work unless you put the ball on the floor. Simple mistake that characterizes a lot of this game right now. 52-30, Hurricanes down by 22. We'll try and get Milwee names with their substituting wholesale now. Peter Reyes for Jordan Butler. Butler for Argos. Argos back inside for Jordan Butler. And Butler is cold cocked by Jackie Chan and knocked, knocked to the floor. Foul was on the floor. Fourth team foul on the Hurricanes. So Ariane Mejia will inbound it. Mejia gets it in for Butler. Butler back for Peter Reyes. Reyes for Mejia. Back intended for Butler. Bounces away, taken by Chen. Two on one for the Hurricanes. Jackie Chen on the drive. Has a shot partially blocked by Mejia. Freddie Woodard with a rebound. Woodard tries to go cross court for Dietrich Green. Green fouls Curtis Argros going to the hoop. Max Hess guilty with that foul. Not sure who exactly it was. Hess might have been charged for it, but Dietrich Green put the forearm in the back of Curtis Argos. So that'll put Argos at the line to shoot two. First one up and in. Substitutions coming in right now on court for the Hurricanes. It'll be Ruiz, Villanueva, Rivera, Green, and Fred Woodard. 54, I believe 54 to 30 is the score. I think the scoreboard's short a point. Hurricanes try to bring it up court. Taken away by Mejia. He'll draw the double team in the backcourt. Mejia ahead for Jordan Butler. Butler into the front court. Long pass ahead. They'll lose it. Curtis Argos gets it back. Argos defended by Dietrich Green. Now Jordan Butler with it. Butler for Mejia. He'll bring it out to slow it down. Mejia for Argos. Argos picks up the dribble, tries to dip the pass into the point. Dietrich Green with it. Green ahead for Alberto Rivera. 1.15 to go here in the ball game. Rivera for Fred Woodard, and Woodard will bring it into the front court. Woodard for Ruiz to the far side for Dietrich Green. Green's shot is up, misses everything. And it's out of bounds off the hands of Jason Villanueva. Nice job by Villanueva. Hasn't got the most playing time tonight, but he has hustled well. He's got a rebound, he's got a basket, and has played some solid defense. Jordan Butler up court. He'll get it for Peter Reyes on the far side. Reyes draws Dietrich Green. Now Mejia with it. Mejia back for Reyes. Under a minute to go, 45 seconds. Reyes running one-hander, throws it up, and gets it to drop. Why not at this point? Why not throw it up there if you're Milwee? Ball kicked away. It'll be Jordan Butler with it. Butler loses the ball off the dribble. Dietrich Green with it. Here comes Dietrich Green. Green pulls up for a shot, has it blocked and knocked out of bounds and by Curtis Argros. Dietrich Green, the pull-up jumper in double teamed. 24 seconds to go. Alberto Rivera will inbound it. Rivera, long pass for Freddie Woodard out up top. Woodard calling for the ball. Woodard down for Jason Villanueva, and Villanueva has to pick up the dribble. He gets it back, back outside for Woodard. Woodard trying to go inside for Villanueva, stolen away. Now the ball pass stolen by Alberto Rivera, who misses the lay-in. He can't hit it. Rivera in traffic, has it blocked by Mejia. Five seconds to go. Mejia, the long shot from midcourt, off the glass, won't fall. Woodard, the rebound, 2-1, the long prayer, and that is the buzzer. It was close early at one point. The Hurricanes led. I believe they had a six-point lead at 18 to 12.
after that, it was all Milwee as the Spartans scored 45 of the last 57 points of the ball game, and they send the Hurricanes to 0 and 3 on the season. So not a good night for the Hurricane basketball team. The JV is close early and falls away late. The Hurricanes hung around for a half and then fell apart in the second half to send them to their second blowout defeat at home of the season. Next week, the boys team will be on the road. We'll have the ladies here from South Seminole. Game tips off about 4.45 p.m. for the ladies JV, varsity to follow. And if you're watching this on the YouTube channel, we invite you to be down here with us. Well, some days it rains, some days it pours, and this was definitely a cat five for the Hurricanes, Bobby, just not South Seminole's night. Yeah, absolute disappointment. Uh, you could tell on the on the demeanor of the boys that you know they had the the up tempo in the beginning of the game and, and they just let it slip through their hands and slip through fast and you know when it rains it pours you know when it's magic some days it's magic some days it's tragic today ended up with a tragic day. So for my color man Bobby Adamowitz and my videographer producer and the thing making things pretty on the editing board Art Miles Steve Cornia here from South Seminole repeating tonight's final score in the second game or a doubleheader. It was the Milwee Spartans 55, the South Seminole Hurricanes 30. Until we talk again next week with the ladies, Steve Corner reminding you that no matter where you go, there you are. But since you're there, thanks for being here. So long, everybody.